Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today we're gonna to be mining Neoxa. We're gonna be using Hive OS and Heroes Pool. Now I'm setting up a bunch of pools and setting up my flight sheets in anticipation for the merge that's happening in just two days. So I wanna have everything ready so if I need to switch between them, I don't have to be burdened with going ahead and setting up new flight sheets, new wallets, and having all that go through. So I'm doing it all now, make sure I'm ready to go. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Neoxa's uh, homepage and we're gonna click on Downloads. Now if you haven't downloaded the wallet or used it, it's pretty straightforward. You could download the Windows, the Mac, the Linux, or if you have a Raspberry Pi, you could do that as well. And we're just going to choose Windows because that's what I'm running mine on. You'll choose the Neoxa QT Win64.zip file. And then once you download that and install it, I will bring my wallet up over here. I chose all the default settings when I installed it, so no big deal. Once you have it set up, it'll look like this. Well, you won't have all of this, but it'll look similar. And you'll just go over to File and Receiving Address. Yours will be blank in here. All you have to do is click New, and you'll get a new wallet address. I named mine EM for Euclid Mining, simple enough. All I'm gonna do is highlight it and copy, and then hit Close. And now I have my new address, and we're set with the wallet. Pretty easy to do. So we're gonna go over to Hive, I'm gonna go over to Wallets, and we're gonna click Add a Wallet. So in the coin ticker, we're gonna type in the OXA. Oops, that's 1A, Neoxa. And then we're just going to hit Control V for paste. Now you can put a wallet name in right here. And then this section here and this one down here, you don't need to uh, enable or to put anything else in here. Just um, these three sections right here. And then you'll go ahead and click Create. I'm going to hit Cancel because I've already done mine, as you can see right here. As a matter of fact, I did the first one. I spelt it wrong and I set up a flight sheet, so it won't let me delete that yet until I take it out of that flight sheet but nonetheless there it is um and i am set to go excuse me set to go now what we want to do is we want to go over to our flight sheet excuse me and start setting this one up so again we're going to go over here we're going to type in the oxa and then for the wallet now that we have our wallet set in there we can choose that one the pool we're going to configure that one in the miner and then for the miner i'm going to use t-rex because i'm using my nvidia cards i've got the eight card 3060 rig behind me and i'm going to be using that one to mine so now that i've got t-rex i'm just going to go ahead and set set up miner config and here we go so in this section we're going to hit this drop down and we're going to go to pow and now we need to get the rest of the information from the pool. Well, this we can have our wallet, so we could put our wallet in here as well. Now you can add one of these arguments in here and you can click this and it should pick that wallet. Um, I, uh, I put my wallet in there and it's working fine for me. So that's how I'm doing mine. So, uh, so now let's go ahead and hop over to minor, uh, mining pool stats. Now, again, any of the websites I use have links in the description below. So I just did a search right up here for Neoxa. I got it. And then here's Hero Miners right here. They're number two currently right now. And we're going to click on them. And it will give you the lineup of what you need right in here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little trick. If you're lazy and you don't want to type everything out, I just click on, see, it tells you right here the, the pools that you can use. It has the East, but that's really for Canada, North America, West. That is for USA. But then they have one called Full Written Out, North America, East. That's the one that I'm going to be using. I'm in North Carolina, uh, so I'm going to be using this one. But I still need to put in a little more information. So if we just click Kapow, and I'm just going to click on T-Rex just for argument's sake. This is what I'm looking for in here. So you need the stratum. Uh, plus TCP uh, colon forward slash forward slash. Now in this line right here is one we're going to be taking. Uh, it does have DE. That's for Germany. We're not going to be using that. But if we want, we can still highlight this whole section right here and hold control C. Come back up to our flight sheet and the URL. We can hit control V. Now, if you remember when I was just showing you that, where am I at over here? Uh, we are going to be looking for USA. So as you see, it says US2 for my server. So I'm going to go back over to my flight sheet. And right here, I'm going to delete the DE because that's for Germany. And I'm going to put in US2. So it's all the same. It's same port, same everything. Everything's exactly the same. It's just that the beginning section designate what server you're going to be using. Again, I'm using US2. So I just deleted the DE uh, for Germany and I put in the US2. Now, the worker name, we can put in the 3060. 
Now in here for the password, uh, I it, for uh, this one, if we look at uh, Neoxy here for that one, for the password, it is asking just for an X. So you can go ahead over here and you can put X. As a matter of fact, you can pretty much put anything you want in there, but uh, they call for the X, so we're gonna put the X. So we've got Kapow, I've got my wallet, I've got my worker name, I've got my pool, and I've got my password. We're gonna go ahead and click Apply Changes, and now we have a flight sheet set up. I'm gonna go over to my farm, and I'm gonna show you mine real quick. I've got it on that 3060 rig. And we'll go to flight sheets. Yeah, I know this card is giving me trouble. It's it's a location in my grow tent that's just not a happy spot. I'm working on it. So anyway, so we go to flight sheet and I'm just gonna go to the edit on this one and set up that one. And as you can see, it's all the same exact stuff. Got Kapow, got my wallet, my worker name, my password I actually put in my worker name that time. Uh, again, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then in here we have the same as we saw just a second ago with the US2, stratum plus TCP colon forward slash forward slash us2.neoxa.herominers.com and then colon and then 1202. Now, if you use G minor, if you stuck around and you watch this part of the video, if you are using G minor, G minor is very similar to this exact setup except for right in this area here, there is another line right here and it asks you for the port. So for that one, we would just simply take out the colon 1202, so it would look like this. And then in this section right here, we would put in 1202. And then click apply for that flight sheet. And that's really the only difference if you're using G minor, so that's, that's that switch up. Otherwise, that is pretty much it right now for what to mine, because the merge is coming, it's two days away. Uh, looks like Ciro has taken over Neoxa. Um, but I am on that one right now. I probably will throw a couple cards on a couple different things as we're getting closer, but for now, uh, that's what I am mining. Uh, again, any of the uh, pages that I use today, I'll have links in the description below. Again, if the video helped, definitely give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button over there. If you want to check out any of my other videos on mining the AXA, I'll probably throw a couple up. I think usually I have a, a couple up over here so you can check them out. Thanks for checking in. I'll see y'all next time. I'll see you during the merge.